guys, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and welcome back to the Half-Life 2 100% walkthrough for the PC, played through Steam on the hard difficulty setting. This is Chapter 7, Highway 17. In this chapter, we can unlock three achievements. OSHA Violation, Targeted Advertising, and Where Cubbage Fears to Tread. We can also unlock an achievement that can be unlocked in any chapter in Half-Life 2, and that is Hot Potatoed. I will explain more in the walkthrough what that achievement is all about. We can also get started on one achievement called One Man Army, where we must destroy six gunships in Half-Life 2. And in this chapter, we can destroy three of them. So let's get to it right now. And there it is, the scout car. But before we get inside, what we're going to do is go to the right side and do some investigating. Which means we have to go down the ladder. Come back up, Dr. Freeman. The car's on the pier. And then step on the sand and see what happens. Ant lions. As you see, the gravity gun will flip over the ant lion and you can back up on the pier. And you can shoot the ant lion to death. So let's try it again. Well, I guess not, actually, so we'll just go back up. As we can see, there is an infinite ammo crate full of SMG rounds on the back of the scout car. So this weapon is what we'll predominantly use against the enemies in this chapter. But we're going to use the gravity gun for right now. And we see the citizens the car's will... Ready for you now, Dr. Freeman. The citizens will shoot the ant lions for us and will protect us while we're being lowered down. Good, here we go. Get out and run away, and try and get the citizens to shoot the ant lions for you. And then use the gravity gun to flip your scout car. Get in and get out of there. Yes, the scout car has a tau cannon that allows you to shoot the enemies as you're driving, which is what we'll be using predominantly also in this chapter. That right there was called a turbo. You can do a turbo, you can do a handbrake with the scout car. You can do so much with this scout car, and what we're going to do right now is just go around in a loop and do some practicing with the scout car. Anyways, once we are done practicing, we can go over to the right side and head up here. It's time to use our turbo. And we see that the road just ends and takes us back to the starting area, which is not what we want to do. So 
What we're going to do instead is back up and go on to the right side. And here is the start of Highway 17. But first, there is a lambda symbol on the left side. Do not miss this SMG grenade. It's very nice to have. Anyways, we will continue into the tunnel for Highway 17. And we notice that the road has collapsed in front of us, so we have to take the right path. And we'll hug the left cliff wall as we turn to the left. And we'll head up to our very first thumper. So we'll hug near the thumper. And we notice that the ant lions will not come up to us near the thumper because of the seismic activity that it causes, which is good. Make sure that all the ant lions are dead behind the fence, and then we will head to the White House over here. And we notice that the front door is locked tight, so we'll have to go through the storm cellar. And we notice a lambda location, so let's head inside. and make sure that that poison head crab dies up there. And we'll grab some grenades from the infinite ammo crate and we will jump up. So our first goal up here is actually to jump over here and open up the front door so that we may come and go as we please. And our second goal is to suck up the SMG grenade from the chimney if we need it. And our third goal is to kill the poison zombie inside the next room. Okay, and once he is dead, we will just grab the supplies here if we need them. And then we will go through the door and find our way back to this area. So we'll grab more grenades from the infinite ammo crate, and we will go back to the scout car. create a hole in the fence so we can get through to the other side. And we'll just speed forward to the right side of the boat and we'll zip on over it and continue heading straight to the second thumper. And we'll turn to the right and we will face this house overlooking the cliff. And there will be some combine soldiers right up there. So yeah, once all three combine soldiers are dead up there, we can now investigate the shed on the left side. We'll grab the supplies if we need them, and also the SMG grenade inside the wagon, so grab that if you need that as well. And we will now head up to the house overlooking the cliff wall, and we will see why the Combine were inside this house. 
But first, we'll gather up the supplies. And also, do not miss this SMG grenade near the red couch. So grab that if you need it. And then we see these binoculars. Let's see what the Combine we're looking at. It is New Little Odessa, our next major destination. The G-Man is also talking with somebody in that uh, broken down building. We'll let the camera pan back over and you'll see him. See, there he is, walking away, and he was talking with somebody. I wonder who he was talking to at New Little Odessa. But that is our next major destination. So, let's go. I'm excited. Let's get to New Little Odessa. Let's get back inside the scout car in order to do that. Oh my gosh. Just as I figured, a seagull has done its business. Well, there it is. See the white stuff? Yeah. He's done his business. Thankfully, it was not on the car. It was just underneath the car. So we'll face this house on the cliff wall, and we'll turn to the left side. And we'll head down here. And then, we will hug the left cliff wall as we go to the right side. Come to the third thumper. Make sure that the three Combine soldiers are dead near the third thumper. And I'll just kill the ant lions around me. Okay, I think that's everybody, so I'll grab my refill of SMG rounds. And also what's interesting is you can push the APC into the ocean down below there if you really want to. Just be careful of the ant lions. Anyways, we'll investigate inside this red shed for some supplies. Okay, and our next stop is New Little Odessa. So let's hug the left cliff wall as we head to the right side. And then turn left, and we enter into New Little Odessa. Gordon Freeman! Hurry, get in the basement. We're expecting gunships at any moment. Colonel Cubbage will be glad to see you made it. All right, a colonel we're going to meet. How awesome is that? I'll bet he's fearless. He's seen so many battles. This steerable rocket launcher is our best bet for taking down a gunship. Ah, hello. I'll be right with you. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. Using the laser guide, you can steer your rocket past the gunship's defenses and prevent it from shooting down your rocket. This will only anger it at first, but if you can survive long enough to make several direct hits, you'll be rewarded with a prize worthy of any mantelpiece. Now, who's going to be the lucky one to carry it into combat? Ah, yes. Gordon Freeman. I couldn't have asked for a finer volunteer. Colonel Odessa Cubbage, at your service. Gotcha. Damn. Let me just send a warning to Lighthouse Point, and then I'll come right up and lend a hand. Go on, teach that gunship a lesson it will never forget. Remember, use the launcher's laser guide to steer your rocket past the gunship's defenses. 
So basically what he's saying is we have to corkscrew the rocket if it's firing at us. Oh boy. Here we go. So yeah, if the gunship is firing at us, we have to corkscrew the rocket past the bullets in order to hit it. What I'm going to do is head into this building and try and get the ammo guy and the health guy to come inside this room with me. There's the ammo guy. And here comes the health girl. She's a girl. Thank you for the ammo. Okay. That's two hits. That's three. It's going to take seven hits on hard. I really appreciate the help. There we go. Come on, you guys, come back inside, please. very much. I can't, I need more rockets. Okay, here's some rockets. Good. Yay! The gunship has fallen. Get going, Dr. Freeman. We know Eli Vance is depending on you. Okay, now that gunship battle. If you can somehow get the ammo guy and the health girl or guy, whoever it is, to come inside the room with you and then trap them inside the room, you'll be able to get infinite stuff from them, which is always a good thing to try and do. Now, yes, I am going to go around and gather the supplies whether I need them or not. I'm just going to show off the item location so you guys can follow in my walkthrough. But I'll be explaining some things while I do that. So basically, with that gunship battle, this is our first one of three of them in this chapter. This I find to be the second easiest one. Oh, by the way, you can head up here if you really want to. Nothing up here. But anyways, I find this to be the second easiest battle, uh, gunship battle. Predominantly because you get access to ammo and health people, and they can give you supplies when you need them. There's an infinite number of them. When one of them dies, then, the other w then another one will spawn and actually take his place. So you'll never really run out of guys to come give you supplies, so that's basically how that works. Anyways, I think we are done exploring the buildings for supplies, so let's return to Cubbage. We unlock the achievement where Cubbage fears to tread. Well, that's that. I gather you've disposed of that gunship, Dr. Freeman. Your reputation, sir, is well deserved. I shall have someone open the gate for you immediately so that you can drive on. I understand that Dr. Vance is in great need. Use extreme caution when approaching the bridge. Radio silence from that outpost leads me to believe it has come under combined control. Still, you're clearly the right man for the job. You'll make it through if anyone can. Farewell. 
And please tell Dr. Vance that Colonel Coverage regrets not having been able to rescue him in person. The Freeman must now hurry on. The Eli Vance is held in distress most dire. Is there reason for delay? Yes, I'd like a refill on my HEV suit, please. NLO to Lighthouse Point. NLO to Lighthouse Point, come in. This is Colonel Coverage, come in, please. Let's keep the free man safe. Well, thank you very much for the refill. Anyways, yes, we have unlocked the achievement called Where Cubbage NLO Fears to, to Tread, and NLO this guy was useless. He's a colonel. But he was useless, unfortunately. He did us no good. Anyways, we'll grab the scout car and we will continue past this area. Maybe it should be called New Little Freeman now. Drive safely. The road has collapsed in front of us, so we'll go to the right side and down the grassy hill. Okay, and here on this stone, you want to make sure that all of the ant lions around you are dead, and they are. And then, we'll grab the supplies, which is very nice to have. There are a lot of armor batteries to grab. And it looks like there was a car accident earlier today, and there were no survivors, which is never a good thing. But we will continue on. And we will hug the right wall. and then park the airboat in front of the beached boat, and then jump on top of the beached boat and go to the right side of it, and then just wait. So basically, you can stand right here and kill all three of the Combine soldiers that are there. And once all three of them are dead, and all the ant lions as well, what we're going to do now is go to the very front of the boat. And then just jump to the walkway, and then we're going to sprint to the thumper and turn it on. Okay, so all of the ant lions are indeed not coming close to the thumper. That's good. What we're going to do now is find this ramp going up. And then we'll turn to the right. And then what we're going to do is sprint back to the scout car. And then, we're going to park the scout car to the left of the thumper. About right there, right near where the controls are for the thumper. And then, we're going to go back up the ramp. And then, from up here, we're going to take care of the remaining ant lions so they don't come and bite me in the back later on. So as long as you are not touching the sand anymore, no more ant lions will show up, so we'll just take care of them from here. And then, we're going to want to use an SMG grenade on the right side of the white shed. And then run for this corner right here and wait for one more combine soldier to come for you. Yes! 
There we go. That will unlock the achievement. And that achievement is called Hot Potato. So basically, what you want to do for this achievement is when a Combine Soldier throws a grenade at you, you want to suck up the grenade very fast with the gravity gun and then throw it back at the thrower. And if he dies by his own grenade, it will unlock the achievement called Hot Potato. Anyways, so the next thing that we're going to do is take care of the two Combine Soldiers up on the right side. Oh. Oh my gosh, can we do it again? Oh, no, we can't, but that's okay. That's quite all right. Okay, so once both of those Combine Soldiers are dead, we are now completely safe to explore this area, so... I'm going to save that armor battery for later on if I need it, so... It is very wise to save these things. We're going to go up this ladder. And we'll head towards the Northern Petrol Station. And I'll save that armor battery as well. So, are we ready to go inside of a crane, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, we are. We'll lower down this ladder in case we fall down, and we'll go up, and we will enter into the crane. So we'll look down and look at the shadow to judge where the magnet is on the crane, and we'll turn to the right side, and the garage door of the northern petrol station will open up and out will come three Combine soldiers that will not be able to hit you if you're inside the crane. What we want to do is grab up one of these boxcars and then smash the three soldiers with it. So if you can wash the three soldiers with the crane. It will unlock the achievement called OSHA Violation. And there we go. I just unlocked the achievement right there. What we're going to do now is lower the crane down as low as we can go. About right there. And then use the magnet to hit the bridge. Just like that. And then we're going to turn all the way to the left with the magnet, and we're going to pick up the scout car with it. This is why I told you guys to park the scout car near the thumper for easy access. And I missed, but that's okay. Okay, so we'll carry the scout car over to the platform with the Combine Soldiers. And we'll just drop the scout car. And that's it! We are done with the magnet. So, let's jump out, and we'll go back down the ladder. And then we'll cross the bridge that we lowered with the magnet. And we have to be ready for the Combine soldiers inside the garage. Oh my gosh, that was a close call. Okay? Um... Where are you? 
Oh gosh. Charging. Never good when a combine soldier charges with his shotgun. That's not what you want to have happen. Anyways, we'll go back and grab that armor battery that was over here. Oh, there it is. I don't know where I'm going half the time. Don't mind me. <laughs> Anyways, with the armor battery grabbed and the combine soldiers dead, we're going to grab their ammo. And then we're going to get inside of the scout car. And drive it inside the northern petrol station and face this garage door. And then we'll head inside this station. Grab the supply. And then flip the switch. And that will open up the garage door so we can get through. Okay, and all the Combine soldiers are dead. We used the Tau Cannon on them. So, there are no items here to grab, so what we're going to do is actually investigate this large area here. And we see that this is locked. So what we're going to do is like James Bond would do. We are going to drive through the glass. And make sure to grab the supply crate on the platform. And then we'll get back on the highway. But before we go too far up the highway, there is a secret area to the right side of the highway, to the left of this red brick building. It's very nice to have, actually. If you peer over the side here, you can see these items that you can suck up with the gravity gun. We have an SMG grenade. We have a med pack if you need it. And we also have this luscious item. A secondary fire of the Overwatch standard issue pulse rifle, which I have yet to demonstrate, by the way, but you know what? I'm going to in this walkthrough. So let's continue up the highway. Finally, we're back on Highway 17. And are we ready for a gunship battle? Our second one of the game. Let's turbo. Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> okay. So, what you want to do is approach the car wreck, and then the white van houses an infinite ammo crate full of rockets. So, remember, you want to corkscrew the rocket by looking up and then corkscrewing it.
My gosh, really? Wow. This is embarrassing. That's the hardest gunship battle in this chapter, in my opinion. Not much cover, and... It's just a total mess, really. Anyways, once that's done, we can gather up some more rockets around here, in this area, if you really want to stay in this area. Not sure why. We'll just continue on. Now do not miss this Lambda location on the left side with this van. It's got some health packs inside if you need them, but that's it. So we will continue on again. into the next tunnel, and into the next area. So, if we go past the yellow car, we see a new enemy. It looks like Dog's Ball, but it is a roller mine, and it wants to buffet you. And to destroy it, just toss it in the ocean, and it will explode. And if you turn the left corner, you will have to destroy two more roller mines. So we'll carefully go around the wreckage, And we will have to destroy three more roller mines. And if we approach the settlement coming up... We see that they're trying to sabotage us. Okay, so once all three of the Combine Soldiers are dead, we can now investigate the Red Barn on the right side, which has just one supply crate, so grab what you need. And then, to the left side of the Red Barn is one more supply crate. Now about this yellow house right there, there are three Combine Soldiers inside the house right now. What we're going to do is approach the front door, and then run back to the scout car, and get them all to come outside. Okay, and once all three Combine Soldiers are dead, we can now go inside the house and do some investigating.
Oh yeah, this area. So make sure that you grab all of the armor batteries that they give you. They give you these things for a reason. Because when you go up the stairs, and you approach the chimney, four Combine soldiers will come for you. This is where I'm going to use my secondary fire of the pulse rifle for the shotgun guy that will come up. As you see, it vaporized him. And we're going to use rockets on the next ones. So just listen for the door opening and then their footsteps. Okay, and... Actually, we're going to use the SMG grenade on the last one. So yeah, this fight is not that difficult as long as you listen for them. We'll grab the items from the supply crates, though it's not much at all. But that's okay. More Combine are dead, and that's always a good thing. We're freeing the world from the grip of the Combine, and that's always good. Anyways, we are done with this area, so let's continue on. So yeah, with this wreckage, there are three more Combine soldiers that need to die, so make sure that they do die. And then we'll go past this debris. But wait! Make sure that you get the supply crates near the debris. So grab what you need, and we will continue on. So, inside this wreckage, make sure to grab the crossbow ammo. Oh my gosh, are we going to get the crossbow? Yes, we are. Up this grassy hill. Let's grab it. The first thing that we're going to do is zoom in on the petrol sign, and then aim for the Combine Soldier's head, and then fire. And if you can pin the Combine Soldier to the Petrol sign, it will unlock the achievement called Targeted Advertising. So, congratulations, you just unlocked that achievement. Anyways, let's go back inside the Scout car and continue on. By going to the right side of the wreckage. And oh noes, we hit a combine wall. We're going to have to find some way to turn off the electricity so that we can pass through with the scout car. So this is a very dangerous section. What I do first is I go to the right side and I destroy these two roller mines. And here come the Combine Soldiers. Okay, and now that the Combine Soldiers are out of the houses, let's kill them with the Scout Car.
So I'll be looking around here to make sure that all of the Combine are dead. Two shotgunners. Let's run back. I ain't dealing with this. That was awesome. I don't know why his back was turned, but I will take that awesomeness that was just there. So I'm making sure that all the rest of them are also dead. Because those shotgunners, man, unless you've played this game on hard, you understand that it's very tricky. So anyways, on the left side of the highway, we come to this Lambda location. And to access it, we have to use a barrel. And we'll use the barrel to jump up over the chain link fence. To the Lambda location. We'll grab the items and the Magnum near the dead citizen. And if we look... What are these things? Is this depicting what the Combine do to human beings? They transform them into the Combine soldiers? Is that what this is depicting? Let me know in the comments what you guys think this is, or know what this is even. Because I'm not sure. And by the way, Citizen, you've been drinking yourself to death. Never a good thing. Stop with the drinking. No, not really. I'm just kidding. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm not kidding. Anyways, what we're going to do now is investigate these houses. And in this yellow house, don't bother looking inside of it. There's nothing inside. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that cool? The gas pumps can be exploded. Inside this red shed is just one supply crate. So we'll grab what we need, and I believe that's it. So, to power down the energy wall, what we have to do is approach this Combine APC and just launch it away from the power pole. See, it now became unplugged. And good riddance to you, you stupid APC. Anyways, the power is now gone, and... We're now able to drive our scout car through the now deactivated energy wall, so let's do that. My gosh, we see a Combine dropship has dropped its troops in the next town. So let's go investigate. So inside this one house, there is just one Combine soldier and nothing else. So let's continue on. And I'm going to be a bit reckless here, you don't have to do this. But since they give us an infinite ammo crate with rockets... Okay, let's go behind the buildings. I'm going to use what is called redirection. They're going to follow me. 
I'll grab more rockets and then, yep, they're gone. So yeah, that's the easiest way to do this section is literally with the rocket launcher because they give you infinite rockets. As long as you're able to dodge and weave and negotiate behind the buildings and redirect the enemies, you should be fine. Um, you could, I mean, while I'm searching for items, I'll go ahead and uh, explain. But you can use the scout car if you want, but I figured that would just get too boring for you guys. I just wanted to do some entertainment for once. I mean, this is what I really do in my own personal private playthroughs, is I just have fun. You know, if I take damage, that's just... that comes with the territory. But anyways, I mean... Playing cautious, playing reckless... I like both ways, really. Okay, and we'll go inside the White House. Now, we're going to use this to get up the broken stairs. Now, there is a poison zombie up here, so we want to be careful. Okay, and once the poison zombie and his minions are dead, then we can grab the items. And then we'll go back down the stairs. So, the next thing that we're going to do is face the White House and then go to the right side of it. What we're going to do is head down underneath the White House. Um, we'll go ahead... You know what, I haven't used the crossbow. Oh my gosh, yes, sweetness. Go, my sweetness. Thank you, my sweetness. Anyways, we... There's nothing down there, so let's just continue on up this ledge and go through the green door. And we'll grab up the supplies, if we need them. And we'll head to the next area. So, we'll gather up some rockets from the infinite ammo crate and go up the stairs. We're going to save these supplies for after a major fight later on. We'll turn to the right and we enter into this area. We have to cross to the other side. I am not looking forward to this. But basically, let's go ahead and jump right here and continue on. Now, there is a head crab inside this room, so I'll just grenade him. And that should kill him, and it did. So we will grab the items inside this room if we need them. Yeah. There's a train, which is making everything shake. So, we're going to get on the scaffolding here and just pray we don't fall down. And then fall down to the ledge below. And if we go down this ladder over here, 
we find some health packs if we need them. So we'll go back up the ladder to the very top. And up here, what we want to do up in this area, actually, is get our crossbow ready as we look to the right side. And we step outside. For those two Combine soldiers to die on the right side. And then we'll gather up the supplies if we need them. And then we will continue up the bridge. I mean, literally, that's what this section is all about. And it's not easy because I am afraid of heights in real life, and this is really starting to get to me, but that's okay. In this room are two head crabs, so I like to grenade them as well. Okay, yes, thank you, head crabs, for dying. Anyways, here is the last section. Literally just run and jump the gap. And we made it across the bridge, at least going this way. On the other side is a supply crate, so grab the supplies from that if you need it. Inside this room are some health packs if you need them, and we'll go down the stairs. Now, if you step outside, there is literally nothing to grab, so don't bother with it. And we will head to this area. Now, this is a dangerous section. What you want to do is walk forward and then look up and to the right to snipe off a soldier. And then aim for the passageway up ahead. For that soldier. But we're not done yet. What we're going to want to do is sprint into the opening and then run and jump backwards. The two soldiers you saw will stay on the left side, thankfully. What you want to do is look to the right again for two more soldiers. Then, we can finally take care of the two soldiers that are on the left side now. I love sneak shooting, I tell ya. Anyways, we are now free to breathe in this section, so we'll grab the items if we need them. And we will continue along the chain link fence and out to the other side. Oh yeah, this section. Don't, um, yeah, let's head back because there is a... ...soldier up there that you want to kill. I almost forgot about him. He would have tagged me in the back. Anyways, now we can go up the ladder. but we want to have our SMG grenade ready when we peer inside the window. A shotgunner will come for us. So yeah, make sure the shotgunner dies and then the regular soldier as well. So let's go inside and we'll grab the supply crate. Now, if we head down these stairs, we can get access to more supply crates. So grab what you need, and we will um, go back up the stairs. We're going to have our SMG grenade ready once again for one more shotgunner that needs to die very quickly. He's on the left side. and then make sure that regular soldier dies as well. And now we enter inside this room. What we want to do is suck out the 
power outlet to turn off the power wall. And then we can get a refill on our health and suit. And then we see this button right here. And as soon as we press this button, it's going to cause a gunship to appear. But it's also going to turn off the force field on top of the bridge right there. So let's get out of here and deal with this gunship. What I like to do in this area is use three rockets on him. rockets so now what we have to do is go down the stairs and we're going to snipe off the combine soldier and the shotgunner okay so once both combine soldiers are dead we are going to sprint outside and then run up these stairs Grab the supplies if we need to. And here we go. We'll turn to the left and run across the platform. And here it is. The final push down the scaffolding. Let's go and not fall. We'll jump to the infinite ammo crate. Oh my gosh, I lost all my suit. Luckily, there is a lot of cover from this guy. Oh, wow. Yeah, I find this fight to be the easiest one in this chapter. Now, to the right of the infinite ammo crate, we are going to want to jump to the scaffolding. Wow, I almost fell. And that would have not been a good thing. But we're going to make our way across the scaffolding. I don't know what the correct term for it really is. I'm saying scaffolding even though I know it's the wrong word, but forgive my lack of vocabulary. And we'll jump down and jump down again. Yes, I lost some health, but that's okay. There's some health coming up. So, we are going to go up the stairs. And remember that stash of items? Aren't you glad we saved them now? All right, so now we'll continue back through the blue door and into the familiar area with the scout car. And we see that a fight is brewing. So let's run because there are antlions chasing us right now. And we enter back into this familiar area. So what I'm going to do in this familiar area is just have some fun with the Combine. So let's do that. Okay, and so as long as you know where the Combine are, there are four of them that will reappear in this section. And then once all four of the Combine soldiers are dead, there is one last thing to do in this familiar area, and that is to face the yellow shack and go to the right side of it. We're going to go through this fence up here. and then through this next gated area for two head crabs.
Yes, my sweetness. And then this right here is a Lambda location, so don't miss it. This is actually a re-recording of the final section. I had this completely saved, halfway uploading, and I missed a Lambda location. I cannot believe I missed it, so this is a re-recording of the last section. Anyways, back in the scout car, we're going to face the yellow shack and turn to the right and go up this hill. Oh my gosh, really? Turbo time. And then we'll turn to the right side and go along the train tracks through the now open energy wall. However, when you hear the train whistle, you want to back your scout car up and get behind the stationary train. You do not want to be hit by the train. come to another energy wall, so we'll go down to the left side. Now inside this area there are no items to grab, so we'll just go through the tunnel and into the next chapter. So yes, the next chapter is Chapter 8, Sand Traps. So until then, I'm Big Mac Davis. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.